Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Foriam and in today's video I am going to show you every single new ancient map for the ancient hunts for both the Hidden Depths DLC and the Echoing Void DLC which all got introduced on the 28th of July. So let's check out which rooms you need for every single one of them, let's get right to it. All right, so first off, we have the Vengeful Mariner. For this one, you're gonna need two of these pink icons. So I'm gonna offer my spear. I'm also gonna offer a piece of armor. This one also has the pink icon. And then we need one more rune. And for that, we're gonna need um, this cross, which you can also find on the scatter crossbow. So with exactly these three runes, you'll be able to summon the Mariner. So let's put the slider on the maximum and check him out right now. Alright, so first off, we have the Vengeful Mariner. This guy drops the Anchor, the Bubble Bow, and also the Turtle Armor. But be careful for his melee attacks as he hits like a truck. First, of course, he spawns those baby zombies, but I suggest you to try and take him down as quick as possible. Mine dropped the Bubble Burster, which is a pretty awesome new bow exclusive to the Hidden Depths DLC. This one hits multiple targets when charged and actually had a built-in tier 2 committed and also a supercharged multi-shot and levitation shot. So it was not that bad, but of course you can find way better ones as well. Alright, so next up we have the Abyssal Guardian. For this one we're gonna have to sacrifice an L, that's what I call it, also a T. And then, last but not least, we also need to get our hands on a plus, which can actually be found on this one. So if I sacrifice it, of course, we have the Abyssal Eye right there, but we can even get rid of this bow because it will still have all the runes we need. But of course, to increase the chances, I'm going to add this one and go to the maximum enchantment points. Alright, so here we are at the Abyssal Eyes Lair. This one drops the Squid Armor, the Coral Blade, and of course also the Harpoon Crossbow. So if you want to take this bad boy down, definitely be careful for his uh, Drowned Necromancers, as they will deal a lot of AoE damage. So I definitely suggest you to first take care of those, and then go for the Abyssal Eye himself. Of course, it will be extremely easy to take this guy down with uh, a ranged weapon, because um, he always tries to run away from battle, so um, I think a Torment Quiver can definitely do the job. So he just dropped a Coral Blade for me, of course, the common or rare variant of the Sponge Striker, one of my favorite daggers in the entire game. This one is strong versus enchanted mobs, also has the potion refreshment, swirling and critical hit, so it's not that bad, but of course we're after those uniques, right? Alright, so we just defeated the hidden depths mobs, right now it is time to check out the ones from the Echoing Void DLC. Alright, so first off, we're gonna check the Watcher of the End, which is a Watchling, and for this one we're gonna need the L, the N, and the Plus. So right here we have a Plus rune. And this unstable robes doesn't have the best enchantments, but it does have the L and the N runes which we need. So let's offer this one and crank it up to the maximum. As you can see, we have the Watcher of the End right there. Alright, so here we are at the Watcher of the End. This one drops the Void Touch Blades, which I'm wearing right now. Also, uh, the Void Crossbow and the Troubadour set, which is a very fancy looking piece of armor. This guy also spawns in some allies to aid him in battle. We can just run away from them and pretty much let him teleport to you at another location. So we'll be able to take him down pretty easily. This one just dropped a Shadow Crossbow. Not too crazy, but of course the ultimate is gonna be very awesome. Next up, we have the Scuttling Torment, which is a Silverfish. This one requires the L, the T, and a double N rune. So I think that Ballers is already a pretty good one to start off with. Then we're gonna add in a Evocation Rope for the N. Glad that the pink one doesn't summon in any other ancient mobs. And then the Corrupted Seeds will add in another N. So there you have it, the Scuttling Torment. Alright, so here we are at the Scuttling Torment. This bad boy drops the Void Robes, which I'm currently wearing. Also, the Claymore and the Void Bow. So uh, let's check them out right now. So as you can see, it's a uh, pretty big silverfish with a lot of companions who have um, the Growing Arrows, which can definitely hit like a truck. So be careful for these guys. I definitely suggest you to first take them down, as it will uh, definitely make your fight against the Scuttling Torment a lot easier. Alright, so here we are in a 1v1 right now. Watch out for the burning. Just try and take him down as quick as possible. And look at that. The Starless Knight just dropped a very awesome new weapon. This one has a tier 3 artifact boost damage built in, which is pretty cool. Then also the gravity or guarding strike, the void strike, and also critical hit, fire aspect, and prospector. Then, last but not least, we also have the swarm, which is my all-time favorite because it's a snareling, guys. This one is a little bit more difficult to summon because you need two times the L, one H, and also the pink one. So I think we should start off with this Shadow Walker. We're gonna summon that one in. Also, um, search for another L, which we can find on the Autocross. 
And right now we only need the pink icon, which we can find on the glaive. So we're going to offer this item and look at that, a new mob right there. All right, so here we are. This guy drops the shadow crossbow, the shulker armor, and also the backstabber, which is a very awesome new blade. Definitely be careful for this guy as he has the mob resurrection aura. So every time when you kill the small guys, he will spawn him in once again. So I definitely suggest you to try and take him down as quick as possible because that of course will prevent the resurrection. All right, there you have it. This guy dropped a shulker armor with a tier three lightning focus, surprise gift, gravity and chilling. Not that bad guys, but of course there are way better roles. All right, so we have another one right here. Let's try and take him down as quick as possible. Or wait a second. Be a little bit careful for, of course, those uh, Endermites. And we're going to dash in one more time. And there we go. We just found the Backstabber. Ooh, a tier 2 stunning is not that bad. Because this weapon actually has the extra damage on unsuspecting enemies. Meaning if you stun like them, you will constantly deal more damage. All right, so guys, there you have it. Every single new ancient mob with all the rune combinations, and of course, also the loot. If you want to check out the entire loot table for all the ancient mobs, definitely make sure to check out the description for the ancient mob hunting sheet because this one contains all the information you need. Guys, big thanks for watching. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if this video was helpful as it will both help me and of course also other people who are looking for a guide like this one. Of course, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. A lot more is coming your way and it is entirely free. Right now though, it is 4am out. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.